What's going on everybody, welcome back to the channel, and to more lightsaber duels in Battlefront 2. Today's video is a follow-up to the last upload. I got a lot of really good comments and great feedback in that video. Uh, per your guys' request, I will no longer say who wins the duel before the duel is over. I did that a couple times in the last upload, and I completely understand how that can take away from the viewing experience if you're spoiled as to who wins before the duel is over, so no more of that. The duel will play out. I appreciate that feedback. And beyond that, uh, a lot of you had some good criticism about the topic of the last upload. In that video, I was talking about how my opponent was using a keyboard and mouse as his controller on PlayStation 4. Uh, this opponent, in fact, Napalm. Uh, and a lot of you pointed out that I didn't have any evidence for that. And you're correct, I did not do my uh, due diligence as a content creator, and I forgot to include the clip that made me think he was on mouse and keys. He did something very specific in the last round of duels, actually the last duel, uh, that I just did not think was possible on a traditional PlayStation 4 controller, and you'll see him do it in the next clip. I was sure to include it this time. Uh, the dude's legit. He does in fact use a controller. I went into arcade mode and I sort of debunked my own evidence, and I was able to replicate this myself. But just watch this little shuffle move that he does. I did not think you could do this on a controller, and I could only imagine this being done on a directional pad on a keyboard. Look at that, he's moonwalking in the middle of Battlefront 2. I could not picture how you could do that on a controller, but turns out it's actually pretty easy. Uh, so the dude's legit, I debunked my own evidence, he's not on mouse and keys. Uh, it was just after getting beat for five or six rounds in a row, and then seeing that out of nowhere, it was sort of a light bulb aha moment that really made me think he was using a mouse and keyboard. Really, it just made me feel better at the end of the day. <laughs> but, uh, nah man, he's just really that good. Uh, my bad on that accusation, my dude. He popped up in the comments uh, to say what's up, and he was super cool about everything. But I'm gonna play this last part of the duel because I need you to appreciate his insane camera control. When he lands from this jump attack, he's facing me, but in the middle of that landing, he turns in a 180 and spins in the, halfway through that dodge to face me perfectly and land that shot. And when I first saw that, in my mind, I'm thinking, at what point did he take his thumb off of the dodge button and put it back on the control stick to turn his camera? And that was just, you know, further evidence of him using mouse and keyboard for me. Um, but no, my hat's off to Napalm YT. This dude is, hands down, the best Battlefront 2 player I've personally gone up against. And it goes to show, man, there are small niches of insanely talented players in this game. Like, I know I'm not anywhere near the best, obviously, but, you know, I consider myself better than most. And it's always a treat running into people who are just this good, you know? This was actually the first duel he and I had. Uh, we met, uh, in these rounds of matches, we met on Starkiller Base in this game. And this was our first matchup, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Dooku. Looking back at this, I actually did surprisingly well after, you know, finding out how good this guy really is. Uh, but as my health is coming back, he parries me and gets two clean shots with a duelist. I had about 400 health and he took my health down to zero instantly. Dooku's just that strong. This was his partner, Amari. Uh, we had a really good match. Uh, Luke versus Kylo Ren. I'm doing my best to not say who won. It's actually surprisingly difficult. I don't know why I like spoiling it like that. Maybe because it gives me something to talk about. But here, Amari's doing a really good job of testing my defenses, taking it one attack at a time. He gets a clean freeze there, but when I saw he went for Frenzy, I knew I had the opportunity to knock him down. Couldn't make the most of it, though. Getting some damage in where I can. There goes Frenzy again, but I don't have any knockdown, so I'm just trying to get away from it. Here I see he's low on stamina, so I'm trying to follow him, but he uses the high ground to his advantage. Good on him. Knocked him down, but couldn't follow up dodging really well. Here he brought me down to one health. Literally one health. I almost lost that. I was just out of range of that freeze. I parried two shots there. So now I'm making him back off. And I keep up the damage with the epicenter star card on repulse that stopped his health recovery. He's just backing off to try to get his health back. And uh, 
I noticed that's all he's doing, so I'm backing off myself so I can let my stamina recover. I'm trying to predict his dodges, but he's doing some double dodges. That was good. We exchanged a freeze for a knockdown. I was actually very lucky that the repulse sent him so far. Otherwise, he could have followed up. And he gets me right there because the first frenzy hit connected and then the, I just couldn't get away from the block breaker. So that was well played on his part. He was pretty happy about that win. The round before that, he beat me as Darth Vader. Uh, I didn't include it because it wasn't really much of a duel, but uh, <laughs> I was down two rounds and I was feeling starting to sweat a bit, so I picked Luke Skywalker to try to get a W on this guy. I noticed he was really good with the chokeholds. You'll see in an upcoming duel that he actually landed about three or four in a row, and it was at this point where I was catching on to how he was doing it. So I was able to block it a little bit better. I tried that repulse trick again to stop his health recovery, but he was just outside the radius. I got two hits on him, but he sent me flying with the chokehold. Which is good for him, gives him a chance to get his health back. I tried a hook push because I expected him to do a spin attack right there, but he waited, which was good on his part. I get two parries right there, and then I finish it with epicenter. That star card really comes in handy in duels. This is uh, another duel against Napalmed. This was a battle of parries. As I explained in the first video, his parry timing was off the charts. Neither of us wanted to move first there. I was able to block the lightning stun, then get two hits in. I was trying to do the same thing with Epicenter there, stop his health recovery, but he was just outside the radius, so it missed. He parries me clean right there, and I'm under the effects of exposed weakness, so those attacks really hurt. And he ran the risk of an attack on low health, so I was able to parry him and get the W there. I actually forgot about that win. I thought I only had the two from the previous video. Here's another duel against uh, that first guy, Amari. The guy with the really good chokeholds. And that's what he was doing. It was whenever he came out of the spin attack, he was able to immediately find his target and then hit the chokehold. And he did it consistently. It took me until the Luke duel to figure that out. Got a clean parry and then a follow-up shot on him. I noticed he loved the spin attack, and I thought he was just randomly doing it, but after that second chokehold, that's when I started to kind of think, okay, he's using it to combo the chokehold right after he comes out of it. Got a parry and a follow-up there. I was a little bit late on that push. If I let go of it a little bit earlier, I would have knocked him down. But again, that's three for three. It really broke up the pace of this duel because I had to run back to the center and get readjusted. In the meantime, he's, you know, getting his health back while I'm running back there. It's a good reset for Maul. Keeping that block high, trying to read the spin attacks. I read that chokehold and got one shot in. I'm trying to bait the parry here because he's low on stamina. I could have finished it right there with a the jump attack, but he threw the saber at just the right time and it saved him. Miss a push. I missed that parry. He hits me with a spin. Those were two really clean parries. I guess he uh, was not 4 for 4. It was just 3 for 3. I thought he got that fourth one. I thought I missed that push because my thumb slipped and I looked to the sky, but it ended up still hitting him. Goes to show, I think, on the vertical plane, I think if they're still inside that radius, it will still hit them, even if you're looking up or down. I missed that push, unfortunately, but I was able to get a mind trick on him. And here, I bait a couple parries. There was that spin attack to chokehold, but he missed that one. And we 
finish it with a parry and then a follow-up shot. And with that, we're going to let this last duel against Napalm to play out while we do the outro. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by the channel and checking it out. I definitely jumped the gun on that keyboard and mouse call, so my bad for that. Apologies to Napalmed YT, and shout out to you, man. You are, without a doubt, the best Battlefront player on PlayStation that I've gone up against myself, so kudos. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe if you're new, get notified if you haven't yet, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.